Kia ora koutou, it's Louise here from The Literacy Place. Today I just want to talk to you a little bit about the idea of supporting our students with decoding by um, teaching them more about how we build words or how words are built from base words in particular. So the kind of whole morphology area. There's some research um, around word knowledge and there are 50% of our words in English approximately are either words with prefixes and suffixes or compound words. So a lot of words are made up of parts. And there's other research to say a lot of kids don't know the skill, so they're not aware that a word like unhelpful has a base word they know help, and then there's a prefix un and a uh, suffix full. If they knew that, they'd get to decode that word really, really easily, so it would seem like a known word to them, versus if they don't know about word parts, that will seem like another word they've got to decode. So we think it's an area we could really build with our students to support them with their decoding and reading but also really importantly to support them with spelling. So helping them to access 50% more words by understanding about prefixes, suffixes and compound words. So just a few resources to support students with this. If you go on to our website, which is theliteracyplace.com and if you go into our resources section, and then into mini lessons, you'll see that there is an activity there called word building. So this is a, a really good little template to help our students get underway with learning about word parts. So there's our exemplar one there. So you put your base word or your root word into the middle there, and then you can really visually see um, whether you've added a prefix or a suffix to make a new word. Um, so you'll see, you know, danger, danger, dangers, and then we've got dangerous, and then we can add on the L way, dangerously. And we can start teaching our kids that there's a set of known prefixes and suffixes that really support them with this word building. Down below, if we use the base word behave, then we start seeing a spelling rule that they need to learn about. So if the base word ends with an E and they're adding on a vowel suffix, so a suffix that begins with a vowel, they need to drop the E because it would be really strange, as you can imagine, to have those two E's or the E and then the I at the end. So that's a really visual, visual way of showing them that we're now dropping the E on our base word because we're adding in a vowel suffix. So that template there, and if we use that in class and kids get used to it, we model it, we do it together first of all, remembering that greater release of um, I do, we do, you do. If we show the kids how to use this, um, it's going to really support them to then be able to use this independently. So that's one resource that you could uh, use for this. You'll also notice down the bottom there, there's three really nice links that you could have a look at. So I've just been having an explore of niftywords.com and it has quite a lot of interesting information in there. So uh, the kids can learn all sorts of things about words. So if you do a search for a word at the top there, so I've done a search for the word help, and you'll see we can see associated words, prefixes and suffixes, related dictionary, and then idioms and phrases, so heaps to explore there. So I'm just going to go into the prefixes and suffixes and see how that's going to support kids with that word building. So here we go, um, I've got the um, base word there, and then we've got uh, some suffixes we can add on to it. So we start seeing uh, all sorts of new words we can make. I didn't think about helpline when I've done this activity with kids, that's a really cool one. Um, and then we've got um, so a couple of suffixes as well and derived words there, which is quite interesting. So quite an interesting place to go and explore words with students. Another one we have there is Visu Words, which is a similar uh, website where you can do word building. And there's an um, etymological online dictionary, which is a really interesting place for um, particularly our kids, older students and students really interested in word building as an extension activity. You can start putting in words and learning about where words come from. So it'll help them understand that whole side of word building as well. So some great uh, resources to use there. So I hope you find that useful to think about that idea of helping our kids with word building and learning a lot more about prefixes and suffixes. Thanks so much for listening.